Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've got Marla on camera again. Say hello, Marla. Say hello, Marla. Hi. And uh, I just dropped, knocked over my tea. My tea. afternoon tea. Yeah. Tea yeah, in a cup can. Of tea. Marla thought I was very quick at catching it. Lots and lots of practice. What right the then, what we're going to do it? today is we're going to take some cuttings from our geranium macrorhinum. This is the geranium macrorhinum. They are the big root geranium. They've got a lovely smell. They're the one that uh, they make the oil off of. It's also called the Hungarian um, geranium. And what we're going to use is <clears throat> our cutting mix. Now our cutting mix, I've done a few videos on this already. It is a mixture of three things. We've got our topsoil, we've got our recycled grow bag, and we have got our gritty sand. And we're going to put that in that pot like that and fill it up about that much more. There we go. We've done this so many times that people with a bit of luck will know what we're on about now. There we are. So that's in there like that. Now, I'm gonna take these cuttings with a sharp pair of scissors. There we go, spin in, Marla, just a little bit. And I'm gonna cut it right back to there like that. Snip, don't worry too much about this. And then I'm just gonna stick it in the edge of the pot there. Like that. There we go. This is how easy it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got one of these in your garden, and you don't know what it is, but it looks familiar, and it's got that pungent smell to it, do a bit of this with them, just like that. That's it, get them in there and uh, and they will grow, they will grow. I have very, very high success rate. They are not the sort of cutting that needs a lot of pampering either. You can leave these things for, ooh, weeks. Well, you're not back over the ask. <laughs> Distractions, it's terrible, isn't it? Um, and anyway, that's it, I'm gonna give that a little bit of a water. We're gonna leave that in the corner of the greenhouse. And also, with your geranium macrorhinum, because they're a geranium, crane's bill geranium, you can also take the root cuttings, like I did in the last video. So we've got some roots here, and I'll be taking some cuttings from those, and they will grow as well. And I hope, you know, with something like this, it really can spark your imagination as to how propagation works, and how through just taking, you know, one of these, um, you can create a, a clone of this plant, and, uh, and lots more. It's, uh, well, makes me happy anyway. Anyway, this has been Robbie Phoenix and Marla on camera down at Stinky Ditch Nursery, and Marla has a pocket mouse. And I have it. My Katie made Pike Marla a pocket mouse. There we go. This can is have what it back I'll, now. You can have the pocket <laughs> mouse back oh, now. So but this is what a pocket mouse is. My Katie makes them for people. A pocket mouse has to be made with the person in mind. Anyway, Marla, there's your pocket mouse. Thanks. <laughs> and good luck with your new job. And I hope to see you here soon sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, it's been Robbie Phoenix, Marla on camera, down at Stinky Ditch Nursery, showing you how to do cuttings. Thank you for watching.